to get into this race? I decided to get into this race. Well, the crime. I'm t I was sitting home one night and I was listening to your radio, your TV station, Channel 13, and there was a shooting out on um, North Houston Road at the theater. Well, it might have been North Houston, whatever that name of that street, where the theater is on, in Centerville. And I saw where two 13 and 14 year old kids lost their life, one lost their life, and one life is messed up. That's two family involved. And I just feel like that we can do more in our community than having our having these shootouts at the theater in South Davis Drive, the, the states. And I, I just got tired of it. I felt like that there was something that I needed to do besides doing nothing. So I decided that I'd run for sheriff. Okay. So um, the current sheriff, of course, retiring after many, many decades of service, Sheriff Towton. Um, what would you do the same as him? And what would you do different? Well, that can't nobody do what Sheriff Towton do have done. Sheriff Town is legendary. Uh, he's the pillar of this community. But what I would do different in this century, in this age now, is I would create more programs to get the community involved. I would start with a neighborhood watch program where the, our elderly citizens can feel safe at home. I would, I would go to every neighborhood and make sure that they want to participate in the neighborhood watch. I would make sure that we have something for our youth to do. Late night basketball, for example. We talk about a curfew, but a curfew is no good if we're not in the neighborhood seeing who's standing outside the streets or who's riding down the road. Uh, I would make sure that our community becomes safe again like it was when Sheriff Taft first took over as Sheriff of Houston County. Well, since you mentioned youth programs, Specifically, youth crime, of course, is a problem everywhere, um, mm -hmm. big concern. Um, why do you think it's happening, and what specifically would you do to help prevent that? In, in, in our county, there's nothing for our youth to do. If they're, if they're not playing football, baseball, basketball, they're doing nothing. Uh, a lot of the problems start with behavior problems. A lot of our kids have behavior problems, and uh, I will have somebody to help me. Now, I can't do all this by myself. I will make sure that we have people who are concerned about our youth. Uh, these troubled kids who go to alternative school, if that's, if that's the name of it now, and they get kicked out of alternative school, I will have somebody to pick them up like they wouldn't be walking the streets during the daytime. Uh, they would have something to do. I mean, I mean, I have to get the community involved to find jobs and stuff. This is a community thing where we got to work together to make sure that our crime rate don't get no higher than what it is now. And our youth are, are not killing each other. But it, it, it's more than just youth. We, we got to do something about the drugs. You know, it, we got to work on the drugs. I will work, I will work hard if, if the citizens of Houston County decide that I am good enough for them to be elect sheriff. I will make sure once a month that every department, Perry, Warren Robin, Byron, we all have a, a, a meeting, get together, bring some of the lowest ranking officers to the meeting so we can find out what's going on in the street and how we should dedicate our energy towards solving those problems. Well, you were kind of getting into my next question. Um, we've taken uh, the 13 WMAZ Listening Lab, which is where we go out and ask voters, ask the public about the issues that matter most to them mm -hmm. ahead of local elections. We were in Macon. Um, we were at the Dogwood Festival in Perry. Overwhelmingly, people told us that crime is their number one concern. So what is your big picture plan if you are elected sheriff to address the overall problem of crime? Put, put, I think one of the main important things that 
any law enforcement agency can do is to be present in the community. To be present. By being present in the community, you know who live in the community. You get out and have conversation with them. Get them to trust you as a law enforcement officer where they would tell you what's going on in the neighborhood. Uh, you can't just ride up and down the streets and don't know what's going on around you. So I, I think that would be one, one of the things I would do. And, and like I said earlier, neighborhood watch program. Have a monthly meeting where you bring the neighbors in and the neighbors can talk about what's going on in their community. And we just got to do a better way, better job of communicating. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fix this fire. You're fine, but it's trying to poke out from behind your tie, and I don't want it to do that. Good. <clears throat> so the second thing at the listening labs that people told us concerned them is the economy and good paying jobs. And while that's not the primary focus of the Sheriff's Department, making Houston County an attractive place for businesses to come is part of the Sheriff's Department's job. How would you work with local businesses or work to make Houston County more attractive for businesses? Well, we know that crime is a, is, is a deterrent for businesses who want to come to Warner Rock. Uh, Houston County. I will work with the businesses and, and, and hope that they will work with me to employ some of our people who have less skills and uh, more tendency to, uh, well, let me say, go towards uh, behavior problems. So I will work with the, with the community to make sure that we can get jobs for our youth and our youth to be able to. Now, youth they don't want somebody to commit crime, mm -hmm. but people in general, because we got mental health problems, right. we got drug addiction, uh, we have problems at the county jail, not enough, enough officers in it. I, all these people who are, have not been convicted of a felony, a, a felony, I would try to get them employed. In a, in a you know in a in a manner to get them jobs to get them off the streets. So um, some of the candidates have law enforcement experience and some of them do not. Mm -hmm. So talk about your qualifications, your when, experience, and why you think you should be Houston County Sheriff. I think I should be Sheriff of Houston County. For one reason, I know the community. I have worked in the community. When I got out of the military, I spent time in the military, in the United States Army, honorably discharged. Uh, I went to work for four years at the, hospital, at the Warner Robin Police Department, and I worked 23 years at the Houston County Sheriff's Department. So I have, well, that's what, 23 and 24, uh, 27 years of law enforcement experience, and I've been acting in this community for all these 27 years. I've been back from Germany. So I, I just feel like I'm, I, I am the best person for to be sheriff of Houston, the next sheriff of Houston County. Because there would never be nobody replaced Cullen Talton, but and I would be the next best person to be sheriff of Houston County. So if I if I met you on the street and you're just giving me a handshake and and asking me for my vote, introducing yourself, what do you say to people? Good morning. Good afternoon. My name is Officer Lee Harris. I need your vote to be for Sheriff of Houston County. Mm -hmm. 